Well, hello, people of the internet. I'm back. Ah, uh, yes. I've been quite busy, um, basically working and just generally avoiding this piece bit of a game. But then, ever so slightly, it grew on me. That little itch of, hmm, I wanna play with that vehicle. And today, is that vehicle is the I-153M62 Chaika. One of the best, if not the best, uh, and my favorite airframe in the game right now. Because you will see it in the video. I even had to fast forward a, a uh, small portion of the video because if people saw see this thing, they don't want to fight it, they just hit the gas pedal and just leave, because they know that they will not win, <laughs> and it's kind of true, because they will not. Uh, for armament you have four 7.62mm machine guns, each of them with 750 um, no. With varying amounts of ammunition, I see 500, 700, and 750, and 520. Oh my god, Russia, what the heck you did with this thing? Which is for 2.3, well, it's not good, not good at all. Uh, you will need a lot of shots on target until you get a critical hit or something. I'm using the universal belt because it has armor piercing incendiary, uh, you know, just to get through that uh, little armor that planes having this BR and set them on fire, uh, hopefully, and we have a handful of setting on fire kills. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, I even have the ace crew on this thing with a completely maxed pilot, so yes, this thing is nuts, it's just more than an OP, but it has low speed and not really good guns. Which the this version of the plane, which I will buy later on if I have a sale or something, fixes at least the gun department because it, it gets a Schwach cannon, two of them to be exact, 20 millimeter, two 20 millimeter, millimeter cannons at 2.7. If you get a down tier, this thing shreds planes like crazy. I air targets, as you can see. Same airframe, same turning speed, same everything. Just it, it's just you know all the niggles, and you can see there is even schlocks in a seven six point seven plane. Man, this is this is a bullshit plane too. <laughs> um, I've well, yeah, that's it for an intro. It was pretty bad, I know. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and uh, yeah, see you in the gameplay. And as you can see, we are taking off. Luckily, we did not get Gaijin this time. Uh, you will see at the end of the video what I'm talking about. Uh, by the looks of it, we got a we got an up tier to 3.0, but it's fine. This match will not really contain any action. Just me watching and looking around in my cockpit. 
than finding a plane, running after it, and yeah. Actually, there's a lot of running after in this video. <laughs> and if you're wondering, yes, I'm doing a voiceover again, because if I can play, I can't concentrate, and if I'm talking, I can't con concentrate what I should talk about. So, yeah, let's talk about something while this game is happening. Uh, <coughs> as a matter of fact, two of my teammates are stuck on the airfield because Gaijin. They got Gaijin. Uh, the state of War Thunder right now is in a pretty bad shape. Uh, there are new bugs uh, happening daily and luckily Gaijin is quick to fix them but this one w was really detrimental on the oops gears <laughs> don't forget gears it was really detrimental on the um, on this project, on my video, uh, because in like every two or three games, my plane would just not want to take off. It, shouldn't, it would break the la landing gears off or just the proper propeller as soon as I spawn. And yeah, have fun with that. A uh, couple of a couple of. Uh, Bombers, we can see, and we see the first uh, plane, a B239. It's the Finnish uh, uh, version of an American aircraft, F2 Buffalo, I think. I love that plane. It's it's just a silk loving bully, like the Chaika. And boom, there is the whole entire enemy team in front of us. Uh, minus few people. From now on, I have every single advantage over them uh, as fun. But as I said, it uh, the B, the Finnish plane starts engaging me, and well, he suddenly had the advantage because the Cheka is not really good at above 2000 meters but well, I'm above 2000 meters so what the heck uh, also burning up my engine and I know that I can do it so I just greed for this Otsu here I don't know why still I'm about to stall completely and my engine is burning up to I missed those shots because I'm bad and now we are just completely outturning everyone and we have a friend another Chaika Uh, sorry for the sound, uh, somehow it compressed pretty fucking bad. Aha, uh -huh. so I killed my own engine. Uh -huh, I see. I thought I got hit by an anti air because anti air is bullshit. You will see a clip about it. It was. It's. Pretty fucking yeah, horrendous right now. Hits every single shot. Not like the old one. Almost killed me too. But here I am trying to shoot down an SBD. I am still trash and I don't deserve this kill, but I eventually get it. <sighs> well, what is up? This is the moment I realized I burned my engine up completely. And I'm dead, and I have a key 44 on my ass. That shit is. Oh my god, it's strong as fuck in the right hand. So I just. And I'm dead, I just head on with him, I lose. I, hope, I was hoping for a pilot snipe or a engine fire because the key 44 is not well armored. On to the next game. Uh, right.
2.7, still fine, still happy about it, but later on the line we will face some FV 190s, the Fokka Wolves, A1s, I don't know which rank they are, uh, but yeah, behind us I notice a an F4 U1A, a Japanese version. Yeah, that thing is just not. I will definitely fly that thing out in once in a video. I'm just, I'm just bad with it. I had a time when I consistently used it to grind the Japanese Air 3. I got it. I got the Japanese Air 3 unlocked as much as I could with that plane because it is just fun. It was 2.3. You were out accelerating everybody and, and anybody and just just climbing about them and just boom and zoom and boom and zoom and ah, it was fun and deadly all at the same time. This also came with a premium since it was the best plane for grinding silver lions and just generally seal clubbing. Uh, the F for you is l will lock up into a fight with another F for you. Uh, I'll for him though because the the enemy F for you will go down. I will try to do a little trolling and get a sneaky crit or a fire in. Hopefully, nab the kill or just get an assist. But I'm not even going to get there. I just lost a lot of altitude, so I need to regain it somehow. Um, I regain it as much as I can, and that F4U is going to burn up. <coughs> I'm looking at the nearest FV190. Let's just call it Fokker Wolf, uh, and that big old furball right there, but. No, it's not going to be my cup of cake because, yeah, it's just... No, I see this guy pretty occupied um, below me. Engage, completely beef up the shots, but I can get a crit in. FV190 can't really fly with uh, a crit of any sort so yeah but he just decides to dive away at this point still I didn't, don't really want to lose my altitude and I see two planes around me so I just try to dodge and yeah if I could if I wouldn't dodge that FP1 they would have got me so holy Jesus that rather is good but this next part does not really need commentary enjoy As you can see, I almost forgot to mention. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention in the intro, but this thing's speed is just absolutely horrendous. Especially if somebody doesn't want you to get him. So we are basically stuck chasing one person to the other, then that one person turns around. Uh, no, it, he actually doesn't turn around, he goes back to airfield because he was heavily damaged. Now I will go back trying to help that uh, 190 uh, to the ground. Mm, you know, just a little introducement to the pavement. Uh, But we have one problem, and one problem only. This thing is a biplane, and yeah. Eventually, the 190 decides to engage on us, so luckily, we could just completely style point on this guy. <laughs> oh my god. And the, these shots I don't really fuck up, just 
just, yeah, just a lot of them, but eventually the 190 will go down because of his. Yeah, that's not a stellar defensive fighting. Uh, at this moment, I see a SBD and a Hankel in front of me. I originally wanted to catch the Hankel, but but sooner or later I realized that it's not going to happen because. Well, he was too far away and too, too much above me, so yeah, I just ended up flying towards them a lot, and this is a boring match. No, not a lot of action, but at the end, it, at the end, it, 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 it came with a big, big, big surprise. Well. And a well macro or micro nah, macro decision problem I made. I did not realize that I only have four minutes of fuel left, and yeah, that will eventually claim my plane. Also, entire but but an entire can go fuck itself. Am I right? This is my futile attempt of catching the Henkel. It's not going to happen, I do realize that, so I will go after the SBD. But the SBD is not AFK, so as I get close, he will turn on me. Uh, I mean, he doesn't really have a good front front tournament, so I, I tried to bait him. He got a lucky crit on me, but we are back to square one. It's him diving away to the deck and I have to follow him because I want to finish that kill. He just took my wing. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Um, that anchor keeps popping up and down from being spotted. But I don't really care, I still have my eyes firmly set on the SB which I'm currently gaining up on and he makes a small mistake of maneuvering in front of my guns uh, which will eventually cost him his life but you can see yeah I can see yeah <laughs> Uh, that that gasp of air, gasp for air was like, yeah, fuck this shit. I'm not handling that thing. Uh, Sky rocket, Sky rocket, and eh, it's a good plane in a decent person's hand. Not this guy though. You will see. Uh, I turn on to the hell diver and. Finally, I was able to set him on fire. He will go down because of that. But look at what is flashing. Uh, yeah, one minute of one minute ten of you, and I don't really have ammunition left. Also, that uh, sky rocket is still doing the boom and zoom shit because, well, fuck. This plane is not not fast, not the um, strongest in our moment, but it's just fun doing s circles around the FV 190s and literally anybody just completely dodging it. Everyone. Mm. I tried to turn on him. If my engine would have not gave up, this would have been a kill. But. Yeah, Newton's first law, you bitch can't run without fuel, and then wait, that, that's not Newton's first law. Uh, who the heck invented the engine? Yeah, that, that guy's first law, without, an, without fuel you can't run. That's why you should buy G fuel. Uh, low attempt jokes aside, you see that? That's an entire... 
those things are actually really dangerous to this plane because boom. Yeah. It's, it's fucking me up in four consecutive shots. I don't know how. I also ran out of bullets, so that's why. Rip Ivan. 19 never to 20 never. Ha, ah, he never existed. <sighs> Next uh, scene of me trying to catch an enemy plane. Yeah, good luck. Come on, aim moron. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm so fucking bad. Aim! Fucking game already! Ugh, yeah, the, the 760 is not good for flying long, long distance and also just look at that guy! <laughs> look at that guy go! Aha, and. Well, he dead. I will get the kill for that Junkers because he will crash into the ground which you just jabbed and never really checked because I was fighting with this guy. Or so I thought. He starts running and you can you can hear because I'm just laughing at this point. The people just not really want to fight with me. I don't know why, because I'm overpowered. And they know it, sadly. <sighs> I would love to see a the problem with this. The one problem with this plane is that if somebody sees it, nobody wants to fight it. Yeah, I just written. Uh, I don't know why I recorded that, but my voice was on, so I thought I would speak a bit. Maybe this thing should not be flown as I fly. There's the Junker skill. Uh, like really aggressively, maybe it should should have been flown like a rat plane, you know, just jumping into fights and interrupting them, and just monitoring the way uh, from danger, and when people notice you, maybe that is the way it should have been flown. The match is won, and yes. I only get Ushay. a kill assist. And Ushay is. My target here will be very, very important. Yes, I, I noted to myself that every single enemy plane is spotted. If I make a mistake here, that could easily cost my planes. So I'm just going to turn back. Also, speaking in the back now. Is Realistically dead. Uh, also, I decide subconsciously that I'm going to try to help that K44 out because he managed to pull down three enemy planes on him and they are slow and low. And one thing you should not be in, uh, not be doing in uh, ARB is being slow and low. That is a certified death sentence, as you can see. Check this one. Uh, we have a little tangle uh, right around 5 to 7 kilometers. I said, said that Donier on fire. I said that guy on fire too, I think. Hopefully. I'm just bad at aiming. But I know that. I will get the kill for it. Get fucked by Gaijin's worst idea. What the fuck is this? Get it out. Yeah, he's uh, set on fire and I got his wing down. 762 power, bet you guys. I hope this would could have been using like a 20 millimeter wink wink, wink you know. Uh, Foreshadowing, if people don't know. Uh, well, now that we dealt with this little furball, and I am the only survivor here, I 
think now that HMS410 is well on the list of survivals. Uh, I'm here still. Just my again head on in gate down here. Luckily got an engine crit on him, set him on fire, and that will bring him down. But the next thing is two fucker walls. As soon as I look at them, they spontaneously combust. I don't know why, I don't know how, but what the fuck happened to that guy? How the heck did he stall? Not even, not even an assist. Oh, I do got an assist. I'm bad. Uh, second FV, he again just combusts and just leaves, trying to run for his life. But against me, it was uh, effective. BF109 up in the up in space dies to our friendly good because uh, that's one less enemy to deal with. <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> Ah shit! Fuck off, oh, dude! Don't run from me. Let me have some fun. At least I would have not made this bullshit decision I'm about to make. You see, there is a lot of red over there, and I know if they would be spawn airspace field camping, I could win. Uh, the tickets and the tickets are now now are in our favor. So hopefully, maybe, please. Mm, so I was just like, yeah, let's go kill some ground targets. Yes, you will see. I know this uh, plane's airframe is uh, pretty pretty fragile. Let's just put it that way. It's not fragile, but it can spontaneously combust, combust on you. And well, yeah. She 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 she. If my pilot is not fully. Uh, the, you know what, uh, leveled up there, he's dead. And this is the last clip of this video. Yeah. A love letter to Gaijin. Please fix the game. It's unfucking playable. I, it already ruined multiple of my top tier matches. And now my video. And I'm still playing this game and I'm still going to make a fucking video about it, exposing it to people. Maybe they will have their fun and they will find find they find their forever game. Um yeah, I don't really have a forever game though. I will upload uh, other games than War Thunder. I just find it easier to make content, uh, actually watchable content on War Thunder. <sighs> At this point, I got enough Jade out. Yeah, and it's just it just keeps spawning me upside down. I don't know why. Kojin, please fix and make your game playable. Also, for the last goddamn time, remove. The fucking predator don't draws from this game. Alright? Bye.